the number one thing narcissists fear and don't want you to know. There reaches a point in your relationship with a narcissist where you get fed up, where you get tired of dealing with them. And then you start to retaliate. You start to repay their injury or insult. And there is something they greatly fear about that. There is something every narcissist must do when they come across people who are full of energy and new ideas. People who are honest and respectable. People who are powerful and strong. They are attracted to you because of these qualities. That's why they targeted you. They respect and approve of that. They want to be around that. But they want you to surrender those qualities to them. They want you to give them your power and strength. They want you to give them your love and admiration because it has such a strong effect on them. It gives them a good feeling to get that from someone who is powerful and strong. But how do they get you to give that to them when they're not about anything? They have to deceive you. They have to prepare and train you for the purpose of being abused. For the purpose of being treated with cruelty and bad effect. Because that strips away your power. It strips away your ability to be strong and influential. Until you become a slave to them. Which is why when you are involved with a narcissist, they will immediately resist or hold out against your ability to be good at something or your capacity for achievement and success. Your quality of being trustworthy and performing consistently well. All of the qualities that make you a powerful and strong person, they have to go against that. They have to break you down. Because when they become oppositional to everything you stand for and everything that you are confident in, it makes you doubt yourself. It makes you insecure. And they do this to gain control over you. When you doubt yourself, it lowers your self-esteem. It makes you think you're not as good as you actually are. Whatever you are most passionate about and whatever you are most confident in, that is the first thing they have to attack. Because that is going to be the greatest opposition to them controlling you. A strong and confident person who has strong beliefs and knows who they are is not an easy target for them to control. So the narcissist has to work extra hard to harm your good reputation to cause you to seem fake or unreliable, even though it may be something that should be easily perceived and understood, they will act like they don't see it. They will underestimate the worth or importance of it. They will go against it because they always have to make you doubt yourself. Even if you like a sports team, they have to like the opposite team because they always have to be in opposition to you. They can never agree with you on anything, but they will treat things that you're not really interested in, in a way that is kind or helpful. They will support you with things that you don't really desire, but as though they are superior to you. So that it slowly creates a very confused and mixed up person, a person who lacks confidence in everything they work so hard to build, which made them who they are in the first place. But why did they choose you? 
if they don't like all of these things about you? Why did they get involved with you? And why did they choose to remain around you? That's evidence that they are trying to manipulate you. They're trying to brainwash you into being their slave. Where you can still provide them with everything of value that you have. While still being doubtful and unsure of yourself. Because you don't realise that it's because they're actively opposed and hostile towards you. You don't realise that they're weakening you. But even when you try to defend your position, they don't like it when you display your intelligence. They don't like it when you display your opinions and ideas. It has a strong emotional effect on them because they're not about anything. Which is why the more powerful and intelligent you are, it threatens them. It makes them feel inadequate. It makes them feel like they're not good enough because they want to receive this magnificent person without giving you the praise and compliments of who you actually are. Because otherwise you would realize that they're not about anything. They have nothing to offer to you and you're giving your power away to them. Which is why when you come across someone like that, they will underestimate the importance of anything you're doing because they're envious and jealous of you. They can't stand it. They admire powerful and successful people. They respect it. But they don't admire or respect that same power and success that you possess. They don't want that because that means you could completely destroy them, which is why they have to tame you so that you are no longer a threat to them and then keep you in that state where you are not allowed to exist in that power of everything you worked so hard to achieve because otherwise you would be superior to them. And they want to be superior to you because that's how they keep you under their control. They don't want you to recover quickly from difficulties. They don't want you to display your power and strength. They don't want you to think about things in a logical and sensible way because that would be a threat to them. When you start to repay an injury or insult to the narcissist, they fear this more than anything. And a lot of them will disappear because they realize that you have realized your own power over them. Everything that they try to strip away from you, everything that they try to use you for, they realize that you're starting to realize they're nothing. There's nothing special about them and they don't have any power. They just tricked you into thinking that you are less than who you actually are. They brainwashed you into thinking you're not as good as you are. When you know the work you put in to be the person you are today, everything you did made you who you are. You know what you did to become a powerful and successful person. And they know what you did to become that. But they cannot congratulate you. They cannot praise you on that consistently. Because if they were to do that, they would be allowing you to have authority over them with your power. Which wouldn't be of any use to them. Because they have nothing. And they're lacking the power to perform tasks. Why would you keep them around you if you knew their true intentions 
and if you knew that they didn't have anything to offer to you anyway. Which is why they have to break you down to their level, to make you think that you are equal to them. But you are not equal to them. You are greater than them. And they know it. And that is why they have to attack you. That is why they have to be in opposition to you. That is why they're always playing games with you. Because they fear that you will realize your own power. They fear that you will realize that you are greater than them. They will resist or try to refrain from acknowledging your achievements or good qualities. They will try to not accept or admit your greatness. They will try to make it seem like it's less important than it really is. They will try to make you doubt it. Or they will try to compare you to other people or other situations without giving you the praise and compliments that you deserve because they're a toxic person. Their behavior will only add negativity and upset to your life. They will only ever have sad or negative things to say and those things will be intended to hurt you. It will be intended to bring you down because they have an excessive interest in themselves and their own appearance. They're extremely self-centered with an exaggerated sense of self-importance and they feel inadequate in comparison to you which is why they feel the need to tear you down so that they can feel like they're good enough. They can't let you be who you are. When a person has worked hard to get to where they are, you should congratulate them. You shouldn't try to tear them down just because you feel less important than them. But that is what narcissists do. They have to do that to keep you around them. But you need to wake up and realize that you are exceptional. You do deserve to be where you are in life. After all of the struggles and hardships that you have to endure, so don't let them tear you down. Don't let them underestimate you. Because they're only doing that because they're envious and jealous of you. They feel discontentment and resentment because of your possessions, qualities or luck. They desire to have what you have. which is why when you see them being in opposition to you, you need to cut them off. You need to get rid of them. They're not going to be of any good to you. They're only going to give you negativity and they will eventually turn you into a negative person as well. They will make you lose confidence in yourself. So if you see someone trying to harm your credit or reputation, they have a hidden agenda for trying to assist you and it's not going to be any good for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.